Welcome folks, Technivers here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. All right, folks, Technivers here. I have decided to retrofit this video into the beginning of this playlist because I had a request from a viewer to let you guys know exactly how to access these settings. And since this is a beginner's tutorial settings playlist, that kind of makes sense to let you know how to access the settings that we're talking about. So today, this video is going to be short and sweet. We're just going to go over where to find and access the settings that we're talking about. Now, to begin with, you have your regular profile. You can basically click on this and you can see your necessary or your recommended print settings. These are the settings that Kira wants you to adjust for every print every time, basically to get them dialed into pretty much any generic machine. Now, what we're going to be using is the custom settings. Now, if I click this custom button down here, and by the way, folks, you can close this here. You can make this reappear by clicking on the settings bar up here. If you hit custom, it'll open all these other settings. And in here, we have quality, shell, infill, material, speed, travel, cooling, all of these settings, support. There's some build plates, some dual extrusion modes, mesh fixes, special modes, and experimental. All of these have their own sub settings that you can adjust independently. And the reason I'm making this playlist is because some of these settings have effects on other settings that you may be using. Now, normally if I click on one or I highlight it, it'll tell me what exactly it affects. So in this case, the layer height affects pretty much everything. Um, so you can see the other settings that interact with layer height by looking at the effects section when hovering over an item. Um, once you have selected custom and you have all of these settings showing, you can expand and collapse these tabs to see their sub settings. And if you open a setting and you're missing something or you don't see a setting that we're talking about, you can either go ahead and type it in here in the search wheel and hit enter and it'll show you anything involving that setting. Or if you still don't see it, what you're going to want to do is click on this gear wheel right here and that'll bring up your setting visibility section. So if I go in here, and do the same thing. This shows me all three of my stuff with, with draft shields. Now these other two, if I click on enable draft shield, it will allow me to change its sub settings, which would be these three underneath it. They don't show up with it disabled because you can't use them with it disabled. So Kira tries to do a good job of hiding the hierarchy, the stuff that you don't need when using your selected settings. So we can go back and go to, let's see if we can see, no base, I think it's spiralize. Yeah, so you can find any setting this way, and in most cases it'll find settings that are closely related to it, but not exact either. So that's basically the gist of navigation for Kira and how to find the settings. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you how to turn it on. Basically, you want to make sure that the check mark is checked next to it, and if that check mark is checked, it will show up over here as long as its super settings are checked as well. So if I check support chunk line count, but I don't check support chunk size, I won't see either of these because this is a subsetting of support chunk size. So pretty simple, quick and easy navigation tutorial for you here. We can go ahead and X this out and it'll bring back everything. And there you have it. Like I said, all the settings we're going to be discussing are in these subsections here. I think so far we've gotten to material. We have one or two more videos left in this section and then we'll move on to speed, which is going to be largely machine dependent. But I highly encourage you to watch this whole playlist see how each of the settings interact with each other and check out the recommended settings for each because it's going to help you in the long run determining the best profile for printing on your printer. That's going to be it for this one guys. Technivers out. Well, that's it guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers and so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability 
to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.